welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Sunday, August 23rd, Proper 16. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. We begin with a lighted candle. A candle burning in the darkness is a powerful symbol of hope. We light this candle as a sign of our strong hope that God is with us, no matter what comes. The candle also reminds us that Jesus said we would be lights for the world. We're called to live generously and graciously, taking care of one another in the name of Jesus. Please join me, if you'd like, in lighting a candle in your own home now. Let's pray. O oh God, with all your faithful followers of every age, we praise you, the rock of our life. Be our strong foundation and form us into the body of your Son, that we may gladly minister to all the world through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now we turn to the words of Holy Scripture. Today, our readings begin in the prophet Isaiah, chapter 51. Listen to me, you who pursue godliness, who seek the Lord. Look at the rock from which you were chiseled, at the quarry from which you were dug. Look at Abraham, your father, and Sarah, who gave you birth. When I summoned him, he was a lone individual, but I blessed him and gave him numerous descendants. Certainly the Lord will console Zion. He will console all her ruins. He will make her wilderness like Eden, her desert like the garden of the Lord. Happiness and joy will be restored to her, thanksgiving and the sound of music. Pay attention to me, my people. Listen to me, my people, for I will issue a decree. I will make my justice a light to the nations. I am ready to vindicate. I am ready to deliver. I will establish justice among the nations. The coastlands wait patiently for me. They wait in anticipation for the revelation of my power. Look up at the sky. Look at the earth below. For the sky will dissipate like smoke, and the earth will wear out like clothes. Its residents will die like gnats. But the deliverance I give is permanent. The vindication I provide will not disappear. Now a reading from Psalm 138. I will give you thanks with all my heart. Before the heavenly assembly, I will sing praises to you. I will bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name because of your loyal love and faithfulness for you have exalted your promise above the entire sky. When I cried out for help, you answered me. You made me bold and energized me. Let all the kings of the earth give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words you speak. Let them sing about the Lord's deeds, for the Lord's splendor is magnificent. Though the Lord is exalted, he takes note of the lowly and recognizes the proud from far away. Even when I must walk in the midst of danger, you revive me. You oppose my angry enemies, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord avenges me. O Lord, your loyal love endures. Do not abandon those whom you have made. In the letter to the Romans, the 12th chapter, Paul writes, Therefore, I exhort you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a sacrifice, alive, holy, and pleasing to God, which is your reasonable service. Do not be conformed to this present world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may test and approve what is the will of God, what is good and well-pleasing and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say to every one of you, not to think more highly of yourself than you ought to think, but to think with sober discernment, as God has distributed to each of you a measure of faith. 
For just as in one body we have many members, and not all the members serve the same function, so we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually we are members who belong to one another. And we have different gifts, according to the grace given to us. If the gift is prophecy, that individual must use it in proportion to his faith. If it is service, he must serve. If it is teaching, he must teach. If it is exhortation, he must exhort. If it is contributing, he must do so with sincerity. If it is leadership, he must do so with diligence. If it is showing mercy, he must do so with cheerfulness. And finally, from the Gospel of Matthew, the 16th chapter. When Jesus came to the area of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? They answered, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, You are blessed, Simon, the son of Jonah, because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overpower it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will have been bound in heaven, and whatever you release on earth will have been released in heaven. Then he instructed his disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. I'd like to invite you to pray out loud with me. Don't be embarrassed that you're praying with a video screen. I'm praying with an empty room, and yet, despite the strangeness, our technology is joining us in prayer right now, no matter when or where we happen to be. So, in that spirit, let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations, let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Almighty and merciful God, you are the only source of health and healing. You alone can bring calmness and peace. 
grant to all of our neighbors who are ill an awareness of your presence and a strong confidence in you. In their pain, weariness, and anxiety, surround them with your care, protect them by your loving might, and grant to them once again the gifts of health and strength and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of earth and air, water and fire, height and depth, we pray for those who work in danger, who rush in to bring hope and help and comfort when others flee to safety, whose mission is to seek and save, serve and protect, and whose presence embodies the protection of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Give them caution and concern for one another, so that, in safety, they may do what must be done under your watchful eye. Support them in their courage and dedication, that they may continue to save lives, ease pain, and mend the torn fabric of lives and social order. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Compassionate God, support and strengthen all those who reach out in love, concern, and prayer for the sick and distressed. In their acts of compassion, may they know that they are your instruments. In their concerns and fears, may they know your peace. In their faithful serving, may they know your steadfast love. May they not grow weary or faint-hearted. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, in the stillness of our souls, we listen for your voice to know again that you are God. Quiet our restless hearts with the knowledge that you are near us, keeping watch over your own. Rekindle our faith and light the lamp of hope within our hearts. Then take us by the hand into each day that lies ahead, for where you lead, we can confidently go, with Jesus Christ our Lord, in whose name we pray. Amen. Each day, I like to share with you one good thing. A bit of hopeful news, a moment of beauty, a tip to help you through the day. And, as always on Sundays, it's good to sing together. Today, I'll be leading you in There's a Wideness in God's Mercy. I'll put the words on screen so that you can sing along with me. There's a wideness in God's mercy Like the wideness of the sea there's a kindness in God's justice, which is more than liberty. There is no place where earth's sorrows are more felt than up in heaven. There is no place where earth's failings have such kindly judgment given. There is welcome for the sinner, and a promised grace made good. There is mercy with the Savior, there is healing in his blood. There is grace enough for thousands of new worlds as great as this. There room for fresh creations in that upper home of bliss. For the love of God is broader than the measures of our mind, and the heart of the eternal is more love to narrow by false limits of our own, and we magnify its strictness with a zeal God will not own. Tis not all we owe to Jesus, it is something more than all. Greater good because of evil 
larger mercy through the fall. Make our love, O oh God, more faithful. Let us take you at your word, and our lives will be thanksgiving for the goodness of the And that's one good thing for today. Do you have a good thing that you'd like to share with the world? Send us your photos and videos by going to bit.ly slash mygoodthing and share your tips and stories with at Pastor Schaefer on Twitter. I can't wait to hear from you. And that will do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org. And please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.